questions with Mark and then Mike. Tom, I just want to ask you about kind of your approach this week. Uh, you guys had, it's been a while since you had a week between games. Um, you know, did you do anything to, uh, you know, knowing the fact that they've had a grind of a season to, uh, you know, how did you approach that? Well, I think we got better. I, I, I really do. We went right at it on, on Saturday or on Sunday and Monday, uh, then took Tuesday off, went much shorter on Wednesday, uh, scrimmaged more, a little bit more of a regular practice, uh, yesterday and then today will be very short, but they don't know that. So don't tell them, but, but, uh, I, I think we've had a good week. I think they're in a really good place. I think their conditioning is good. We've, um, we obviously it's tapered back. I mean, everything we do is, is tapered back, but still at the same time, we got to continue to build on good habits and, and make sure that we're doing the right things. And, uh, it was a good week to get better, uh, to prepare not only for this game, but for next week. Uh, yeah, coach, um, the obvious question, what, what has to go different? I mean, I mean, I don't think Alabama's going to shoot 60% from three again, but what are some adjustments from the last game? Well, we've got to guard the ball better. That, that's, that's first and foremost. We've got to guard the ball better. Yeah. You know, I'd like to say we have to shoot it better. We do. We couldn't throw it in the ocean that game. And, and, uh, it was a problem and we missed layups, you know, we missed threes. Um, there were numerous places in the game where, a couple of things go right in just a couple of possessions. It changes the, the flow of the game. And in that game, too many times, it went against us and it went for them in the sense of, you know, we'd miss or turn it over and they'd come down and score. Now, with the three-point shooting, we've got to do a much better job of guarding the ball and then not being in overhelp situations. And one of the, way we do, one of the ways we do that is we've got to very much, you're, you're, you've got to guard your man, but we've got to be in the gaps uh, to show help. And, and we just cannot get hugged up on, on our guy, uh, no matter who it is. It's not about who you're matched up with. It's about who you're around. And uh, we got to be really, really good on the ball. And then we got to limit them to one shot the best that we can. And then the other part of it is we got to do a great job of challenging shots. I, I thought there were too many times, even when we challenged, our arm was short. You know, we didn't get our hand up all the way. We weren't as aggressive as we needed to be. We don't want to foul shooters, but we've got to be aggressive in our shot challenges. Sorry, let's go to Jacob and then Chip. Yeah, hey, Coach, this isn't a question about Alabama, but, you know, we're coming up on a year since the last SEC tournament when you guys played your first game, you beat Ole Miss, and then everything got shut down all of a sudden. Just what do you remember about finding out that the tournament was canceled and seeing that the NBA had shut down the night? What was that time like for you? Well, first I want to know, are those Christmas lights hanging behind you? Yeah, we don't Christmas have lights. What are we they? don't have much in the way of decorations here. It's just a dog and some Christmas lights. So, uh, oh man, there's the dog. He's just chilling. What's his yeah. name? Deli. 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 Yeah. That's pretty cool. Now, this yeah, is good. So. This is good. I've not done. I've not done unless Chip Towers has got Christmas lights hidden that I haven't seen. We have not done <laughs> Christmas lights in a Zoom. What I remember about that, we were playing really good basketball that night, and and um, um, we were really in a good a, a good flow. Uh, certainly we were coming off a tough loss at the end of the season, but we were really in a good spot with that. And we knew everything was different uh, that day and especially that night after the game, but we didn't know to the level until the next day. And we were just, we were preparing to get ready for Florida. We were, they had had breakfast. We were getting ready to sit and watch film and then go through our walkthrough. It wouldn't have been a, a day where we go to the gym because we played Florida later that day. Um, and then things all changed and, uh, Life has never been the same, but it, it, um, it, it was, it was just unique. It was a very, very unique experience. And I, I say it all the time, you know, for the way we've come through this. And, uh, even though we've had some COVID cases and things of that nature for the way we've come through this, our guys are very, very, very fortunate, uh, to be able to have done that when there's just been so much strife and turmoil and adversity throughout all of this. And for our guys to continue to be able to go back in and play. And, I, and I'll say the same thing next week for the guys that were with us last year when we go into Nashville that are with us this year. I mean, it's a very, very unique time. But at the end of the day, you got to feel very, very fortunate and blessed and thankful that you get these opportunities. Thank you. Good luck to you and Delhi. Thank you, Coach. Coach, uh, you spoke at, at length about uh, what Severe brings to your uh, team and your offense and how why he's important and all that kind of stuff. But obviously, uh, there's certain teams against which he's, he has been a liability or has struggled. 
Alabama was one of those teams. I mean, what can you do when, when you know, he's not able to do the things that he does so often? Uh, what's your alternatives there? You know, more KD or, or, or do you, you just got to stick with him? I mean, I know that's a, a lot to ask of you. I here. think you've got to, yeah, you're, we, we're, Severe is going to play. I mean, there's no doubt about that. He's too valuable in too many different ways. But I think it's just a matter of getting better ball movement. It, it's, it's getting more people involved in the ball screen and in the action so he can be off the ball and, and keep him in movement, especially against a team like Alabama. And, um, and then he just got to defend at a high level. But, you know, when he's rebounding the ball well, when he's ready to shoot, when he's trusting the pull up on a, on a, on a game speed drive, uh, those things are really good. And so I think it just becomes a matter. And we've had to do this all year when we're not making shots, not, not just, uh, I know your questions about him, but at certain times we're not guarded um, as heavily as you would like in a game plan, right? So you have to continue to adjust to it. You have to continue to move people. You have to continue to try to manipulate the spacing a little bit and, and, and the cutting, and then give yourself a chance to get open looks, but very, very importantly, give yourself a chance to get to the foul line. And I think those kind of things are really important. Well, with that being said, you've got to be good on the defensive end. You've got to be good in transition both ways. And you've got to keep your speed in the game up and then make good decisions inside of that. And so I think that that's the biggest thing, especially when we're struggling shooting the ball. Let's go to Jed and then Dash. Hey, Coach, um, y'all have had games this year where, you know, you've gone toe-to-toe with some of the best teams in the league, and then you know, you've had other games where you've lost by, you know, 20, 25 points. When you look at, you know, in your experiences building programs and things like that, is, is playing consistently, I guess, that final step towards getting a team in a program where you want it to be is just playing at a high level, you know, carrying it over from game to game? Well, playing for, cha- playing for championships. I mean, that's ultimately where you want to take it. And the only way you do that, is to have good consistency, to be able to do things when, when certain things aren't going for you, is to continue to find a way. And, and then I think it's the maturity of understanding and locking down defensively and trusting, even when your offense isn't there, you can put stops together, multiple stops together defensively and with rebounds that give you a chance on the other end. And I think the other hand, the other part of the consistency is the consistent depth. And I think the consistency of depth in this league is what the differentiator is right now um, when you look at the you look at the top teams in the league, is there's a level of depth that there's very little drop off um, efficiency wise when when they go to the bench. And uh, but again, uh, shooting takes care of a lot of that type of stuff. Getting to the foul line takes care of those types of things. It keeps you in games. When we've shot the ball well, uh, usually we've played pretty well. When we've persevered. When the shooting wasn't there and got to the foul line and understood that the shooting would come if we continued to get stops, we played pretty well. When the shooting wasn't there and we let the rope go a little bit defensively and in the rebounding, that's when we haven't played well. And, and that, that's the, the maturity phase that, that all players go through, especially a young team like this, has got to continue to grow through that and understand that, that no matter what, you've got to continue to, to bring the best version of what you can bring, right? Defensively, connectedness, uh, physicality wise, those type of things. And then I think the other part of this, uh, Jed, is for us to continue to, um, you, you've got to play physical, right? You, you've got to be a physical team. And sometimes that's size, sometimes that's leverage, sometimes that who hits first, sometimes that's going through the contact. It, it's all of it put together. And I think that consistency, that consistency of depth and then that physicality is what you want when you know you're really, really competing at a high level. Thanks, Coach. Hey, Coach. Good to see you today. Uh, you too. You know, considering, uh, you know, what happened the last time you guys, you know, played Alabama, then you find out you're going to get them again uh, here tomorrow. Were you happy about that? What, did you do you think that would be something to kind of, I don't know, maybe kind of galvanize the team a little bit to get one more shot at Alabama? Well, I don't think I, – I think if there's any game that, that you want to play in this league after the way we played there, it would be that game, and it just happens to be Alabama. Um, we, we did not play that well. Uh, I could have coached a lot better. We could have played a lot better. There's so many things that go into it. And uh, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, and uh, it's a home game that now we're going to have. It, it's, it's really open to try to be a reward for our students, you know, for what they've gone through and, and what they continue to go through and, and 
Certainly it hasn't been the numbers as everyone knows that we've had the last couple of years, but the, 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 the quality of, of passion and energy that's been in here, even in smaller, smaller numbers has been excellent. And it's a chance to thank them. So it, it's, it's CBS. I mean, there's a lot of things, but the bottom line is as a competitor, you want to play this game as a competitor. And, and um, there's no doubt about it. And, and if you're not looking forward to it, it'd probably be a good idea to stay in the locker room or, or uh, sit in the back where I can't find you. Because the bottom line is you want to compete at this level. You want to compete against a team that's that good, especially a team that played the way they did against us the first time. All right. Thank you, sir. Coach Kareem, thank you for your time and good luck in tomorrow's game. Sure. Thank you.